Hi there. So today what we're going to talk about is a little bit more of a complicated topic and this is going to deal with passing an argument to a procedure or a function. So you should be familiar with the fact that functions can take arguments, but subprocedures can take arguments as well. Now there are two main ways that can be used to determine how an argument is received by either the subprocedure or the function. And this is by using the bival and by ref me passing mechanisms. Now the bival uh, mechanism is used to protect the variable from changing, while the by ref this is better because it helps perform uh, more quickly whenever it's running the program, but this will allow changing in the underlying element. Now, I know those words really don't make a lot of sense to you, so what I did was I mocked up a quick illustration so that hopefully these concepts will make sense, and then I'll show you how to use them in a program. So we're going to start with by val, and this protects the variable from changing. So let's say you have a subprocedure here, and we're going to call this a box. And it's filled with variables that you're working with. And these are going to be the balls that are right here. Now, there's also a function, which we're going to illustrate here as a trampoline. So whenever a subprocedure will call on a function, the subprocedure will then drop its inputs into the function. And then this function will then come up with an output, which is this blue ball here. This blue ball will then be returned to the subprocedure. Now, you can see that. Uh, all of the balls should still be there, but in the by ref example, let's have that same subprocedure and that same function. If we return the balls there, what will happen is that these inputs would then change. Now, these inputs that were originally there are now the green balls. They're going back up to the subprocedure because this is now what the subprocedure is working with after this function is run. Furthermore, this function can also pass back an output still. So I know that might not make the best of sense, but hopefully showing you guys a programming example will help. So let's work with a subprocedure, my program. And for this one, we will uh, be working with a program we wrote before called the add to, and that the function add to. And this has an x as a double, and this function is a double. And if you can remember the add to function, all that there was to it was that take the variable that was input, and then we're adding two to it. So working with this above, let's have the sub procedure. We're going to dim x as a double up here. We're going to make x equal to 5.01. and we'll show the value of this. So quickly, just stepping through this to show you guys the example, x is assigned the value 5.1, and now we're, we're working with add to x. And this is gonna message box or show message to the user, the returning of whatever this function has. And you can see that it didn't work there. Oh, that's because I had an equal sign there. Typo, has to be a plus. All right, so there it goes. And you can see at the very end, I forgot to do this, show the message box for x. So we still have 5.01 here. The add to function shows 7.01, and the value is still x. Cool. So let's say we change this a little bit. If we do by val here, this really doesn't change the program, but sometimes you'll need to throw the statement in if it's giving you an error, and this will still just preserve the value. But if we turn this to a by ref example, and we actually switch add to to x, so what we're doing effectively is taking the value of x here, and we're assigning the value of itself plus two. But the one thing that we're taking out of this function add to is that we don't return anything to it. So nothing on the left side of an equal sign is being assigned of new value that the function will be returning. So what that means is that once we're running through this program, if we message box add to, there's nothing down here that has a value. So it's going to give us a zero. But you can see we made x go from 5.01 to 7.01. So we increased the value of two. So let's see how that actually works with our 
program up here. So this is our box, this is our trampoline. We have zero for whatever the add two is returning, but now when we look at the value of x here, it now has the value of 7.01. So that's two greater than what it was before. So you can see how this function down here affected an actual variable up here. So that's why it's important to know what by ref is. Sometimes it'd be important for you wanting to change arrays or variables congruently. And I hope you guys understand this a little bit better.